Archives of your perspective. Discover how to use archival materials to curate an exhibition. Illustrate a theme to have an audience understand your point of view. Materials. A drawing utensil, paper, and five to 10 archival materials. Examples, receipts, lists, old journals, letters, objects, photographs. This is optional. Instructions. Number one, collect and sort. What does an archive mean? An archive is a collection of objects. This would be letters, photographs, anything really that together give information about a person or a place, like the receipts and tapes of DJ Screw at camp. First, think of what point of view you want to express. Who or what is the focus of your archive? If you would like to express a personal narrative, for example, your time at summer camp, source letters you exchanged with friends you made there, lyrics from a song that you listened to while you were there, or photographs you took while at camp. Find receipts, lists, old journals, letters, objects, photographs in your home that remind you of that time. If your theme is more global, like capturing a social movement, list the various archival materials you would utilize that related directly to your theme. What recreations of archival materials would give the audience more information? Your list of items is now an archival material for this moment and your memory. Number two, intentions of exhibition. From everything you imagine to be collected, choose five objects that would convey the intention of your exhibition. What story is told from the archives when you look at the objects together? Choosing a person or a place is a great place to establish a focus for your audience. What are two objects that represent the person or place? How can the objects give you more information about the person or place? For example, lyrics and DJ Screw's music gives us information about life in Houston during the 90s. Or in the exhibition Slowed and Throwed, DJ Screw's record collection helps us understand the variety of music genres DJ Screw incorporated into his work. What can you incorporate into your archive to ensure that your audience understands your experience or theme? Number three, mock-up. Look at all the archival objects you collected and your lists. The archival objects are visual representation of your potential exhibition. How can you showcase the objects to demonstrate your intentions? On a sheet of paper, mock up the placement of the works in your exhibition of your archival objects. You are the curator of your exhibition. A curator in a museum oversees which art objects are on view and included in the exhibition. When creating an exhibition, a curator thinks about the viewer moving through the gallery space. So think about your intention for this exhibition and how you want the viewer to understand the information and objects. Which objects near each other will create or inspire new ideas from your viewer? Do you want the story to be told chronologically? Do you want to tell a story based on a variety of themes? What is the first thing you want the viewer or visitor to see? The last thing, what information can build on each other? And how do you combine stories and text with images and objects? Through your archival objects and drawing, we give access to new information about a place in time. Step four. Share. Share your mock-up with someone in your family. Take a picture and share your work with your classmates or cam. Go further. 
interview family members or friends to enhance the concept of your potential exhibition.